Good morning. Hey, it's still morning, right? Uh, Sunday the 22nd of March over here in uh, Sacramento, California. Um, how are all of you doing? This, oh, I suppose most of you are, yeah, my personal friends, so you know where I'm from. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I just came back from a walk and stayed, well, uh, m uh, way more than six feet away from everybody that I passed, but, um, yeah, I posted a posted something about my granddaughter a little bit um, long, but it was something that I was doing while I was um, walking. You know, we're all uh, the same when, um, when it comes to taking control of our day and taking control of our thoughts, which is the theme for my live post every day. And uh, so hi, Lucy. So yeah, coming on here today, it's just really easy to to go negative and to go fearful and it's just extremely important it's okay to do that for a minute and then come back see i'm the same but seeing my granddaughter first thing this morning i just lost it it was crazy you know and she's okay but she's um she's asthmatic you know and the thing what we take it for take for granted is regardless of how you might feel uh, being in florida or being in uh whatever states still kind of tend to um blow this off as being overreacting you know it's really simple it's unfortunate but it's simple do what you're told and stay home because you're putting your you're putting everybody at risk by not complying and helping to reduce that curve that bell curve because the hospitals being at capacity means that if you have you or somebody that you know or love needs help or even elective surgeries some elective surgeries are really kind of borderline not elective right so you're not going to be able to do that if the hospitals are at capacity. So slow the curve by doing what you're told and stay home. We've never had to do this before. We've never all had to mind one um, one directive at a time, but um, we do. So lots of positive stuff. Um, taking control of your day. I totally lost control of mine this morning because the first thing that happened when I woke up and I didn't set an alarm was um, have you checked your post today? Have you seen um, your daughter's post? And, I said, no, and he said, you know, Lily's in the hospital. I was like, what? And he's freaked out. But I'm human and um, I don't apologize for that. <laughs> but getting a grip and um, just realizing, you know, um, there is a positive spin, we have to do what we can. Um, but but that's just a real reality check right there when you see, you know, your own family. And they're in Tennessee, so they took her to the hospital and, um, you know, and she's asthmatic. She's having a normal asthma attack, but she got so bad that they had to take her. They didn't want to, but met with hazmat suits and security. Talk about, you know, the drama and stress and reality. And you know, Tennessee's um, getting hit, but not like the West Coast, not yet, you know, or, or whatever. But uh, the thing is, it's totally serious. And, um, and then of course they can't test because um, t testing is only reserved for the severe. Uh, the severely um, affected people right now. So, um, I don't want everybody here, right? Like six feet, bro. <laughs> Neighbors. So, uh, the thing is, um, it, it just really was a reality check. And so, I spent the morning kind of trying to change all that. And um, so, it took a long walk, and that's when I wrote that post. Uh, but at the same time, the outpouring of responses has just been awesome. And also, noticing how friendly people are now and helpful they are, um, all kinds of stories of that kind of thing. So that's awesome stuff. So being grateful, what you're grateful for is huge right now and, and staying busy and inspiring others. And I have one for you. You know, it occurred to me, everybody's on social media, um, well duh, especially now. Uh, what can we do to cheer each other up it's without um, bombarding each other with everything? I was thinking, um, you know, I created a Zoom link so we can have little get togethers as much as possible. We can set up our living rooms so that um, it can be more uh, um, attuned to having parties. Like your big screen TV could be the Zoom and then you can log into the Zoom session using your phone. So there's all kinds of ideas on how to get together virtually. That's cool too. Also, have you noticed the famous people? Okay, so, so search for the famous people that you know. I saw um, Melissa Etheridge, she posted um, an amazing, she's doing every day, she's singing us songs. And oh my God, she's amazing live and, and so heartfelt, it was so awesome. I just listened to Eckhart Tolle, The Power of Now, um, you know, and, and just, you've got so much positive to plug into, so many people. 
that um, are singing songs and um, and bringing joy to everybody else. And so, if you have suggestions to that, please share them or, um, yeah, I respond to this with your suggestion. That would be great. Um, and so, other than that, just please um, do what you can. This just, just uh, stay home. My spouse, my husband, actually works at Costco. He's got the next three days off, but well, that's annoying. Um, he has the next three days off, so he's home, and uh, guess what he's doing? <laughs> I can't see who's on here yet, but I will. Um, I'm going to show you. Okay. He's in here cleaning. Yeah. Say hello. Wave. Hi. Hi. So what are you doing today? I am vacuuming. I also do cooking, cleaning, do um, laundry for you. Um, for me? For you. <laughs> and then what do you do with bleach bottles? <laughs> with what? Bleach bottles. Oh, I use them today for my um, back workout. Yeah, I know. Yeah, so we're making the best of it. And he likes his, uh, yeah, his shows and stuff. So yeah, we are pretty much staying home and doing our thing. But um, also, I noticed it's really nice as lots of neighbors are out and and maintain the distance but people are so um, kind and nice and um, and helpful and I think most importantly we have to keep each other um, you know away from fear because it's not helping it's not helping at all the reality is what it is just do what you're supposed to be doing and uh, we'll all get through this and um, did I cover all bases as far as my regular day-to-day -day, um, attitude and my gratitude and accountability I hope so um, if I haven't, um, or if I have, either way, um, make it, do something kind for somebody else. And right now is, seems to be the theme, right? Um, and take this seriously and love on all the people that you can talk to as many people as you can every day. And I know that I've been doing that as well. And, um, try to maintain a routine. I know it's going to change a little, but still maintain a routine and stay positive. So, um, I am... Hoping that, I'm gonna put on my glasses, go figure, right? I see a lot of Lucy there. Oh, hi Lucy, thank you. Hey girl, hey Cheryl, hey Jet and Steve. Yeah, it's awesome. So um, yeah, so do something fun and do something awesome for somebody else, uh, especially yourself. Um, and don't get, don't be impatient with yourself for being upset um, or negative or whatever else. Just snap out of it, do something to snap out of it, all right? Make it a great day. Take care.